Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, so today I want to go ahead and explore the caves surrounding Hyrule, uh, specifically in this area. And as you can see, I'm by this cherry blossom tree. And if you look at this uh, map that I took a picture of um, in a Yiga hideout, it actually shows the locations of all of the cherry trees in uh, the game. So it looks like there are eight of them. Um, and if you don't know, every cherry tree has a, a little altar here. And if you put uh, any kind of fruit, it can be, it doesn't matter how special it is, it can just be one apple. Um, it will summon the Lord of the Mountain, who will then highlight uh, the caves that still contain bubble frogs in them. Uh, so you can then find the caves in the area uh, that still have bubble frogs so you can go collect their gems so yeah as you can see they have or he lit up the caves by putting those little like spectral markers yeah wow so there's still a lot of caves i have yet to do and i'm pretty sure it's the ones that you haven't gotten unless it's just all of them so there's one actually no this one has a check on it so no never mind it's actually just all the caves in the area but, um, I mean, thankfully the map is kind enough to just have a check uh, when you have gotten the bubble frog uh, inside. So, yeah, we did that cave, so there's one over there. And I don't know how long these will last, these markers. I don't know if they'll wear out eventually. Um, but in the meantime, we'll just take advantage of this, and uh, if we have to, we'll just come back to uh, re-highlight them. So, yeah, let's start exploring the caves. I want to get as many bubble gems as I can in this video, and then at the end we'll, we'll give them all to Colton to see what we can get from him. Hey, if you enjoy what you see here, please consider subscribing and liking the video as it really helps get the content out there. Thanks. Wow, yeah, it looks like there's still a lot of caves. Man, yeah, it like highlights pretty much all of them in the area. And yeah, as you can see, there are not a lot of check marks, so I suppose, yeah, each area has like a good, I don't know, 20 caves or something. Um, so I guess we, this is like another series of things we should do in this playthrough, uh, just to get all the bubble gems. So yeah, this is really cool. So there's actually, hmm, weird, is this a cave? Oh yeah, it is, but it has the check mark, so I got the bubble gem. But I guess the glow, yeah, it still per persists even after. So we'll just keep looking around and checking the map to make sure I don't waste time going to one. So I'm heading towards this one, so yeah, I've gotten that. Oh, this cave... weird, it says I didn't get the bubble gem? I guess I didn't pay attention. So yeah, we'll go this way. Hmm, yeah, interesting. So this cave was the, one of the ones we got the Fierce Deity armor from, but I guess I just didn't get the bubble frog inside. Oh, it's right there. Wow, okay, geez. So yeah, some, I guess are close to entrances while others are, like, deep within. Oh boy. Okay, good. It does float. That would have been horrible. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only a finite amount of these, unless you use glitches and stuff to duplicate them, but, um, I don't want to do that. I just want to collect the ones that game wants you to. Oh, cool. Or, um, so yeah, that was very simple. So then there's just another cave t not too far from here, so if we just ascend out, then we can make our way to that one. So yeah, this is going to just be kind of a bunch of cuts to various caves. Um, I don't think I really want to, like, explore them super thoroughly. Yeah, so the glow does persist even if you get the gem. Um, you know, for, like, loot. I just want to get the bubble gem and move on. Huh, interesting. This is the Sage Temple Ruins. I've never been here before. And yeah, it's there's a cave entrance right here in one of the ruins. And it looks like it just goes straight down? Wow, yeah, okay. And yeah, if I remember correctly, in Breath of the Wild, the uh, Zant helmet uh, was here uh, in the DLC. So, okay, so yeah, this looks kind of developed, but it also is kind of caved in, so we gotta blow our way through. Oh, accident, I can hear the bubble frog already. Okay, yeah, so there's just gonna be some, like, average loot in here. Oh. There's actually, like, a stone tablet here? The sword was enshrined in this temple to honor the sages. It was moved to Thyphalo, north of the Great Forest of Hyrule. 
Oh, oh, that's so cool. That's like a direct reference to uh, Twilight Princess, right? Uh, and it's referring to uh, this sword, the Dusk Claymore. And yeah, I'm pretty sure, or I'm guessing, that this temple had something to do with in um, uh, Twilight Princess. So, nice. Okay, that's interesting. And it basically just directly says it's in Thyphala Ruins. All right, and then that's yet another gem. So, okay, and then we'll just move on to the next uh, cave. Huh, strange. So, according to these markers, it's saying that there are bubble frogs in, like, these parts of the castle? Weird, because these don't really seem like caves. That is so weird. Well, I mean, I'm not going to deny it. I will get them. Oh, interesting. There's a Korok puzzle there. All right, so I guess we'll just head in and try to find it. Weird, because I did come here before. Um, before we went up into the castle to fight the Phantom Ganons, and I found, like, another piece of the Royal Guard set, which I thought wasn't possible to find. I thought you had to buy it. So, in fact, I think I have a picture, um, of the Bubble Frog, so let me see if I can just target them. Yeah, Bubble Frog. So, target was Sensor. Bubble Frog nearby. Okay, well, this will be very helpful, especially for large areas like these. Um, okay, it seems to be this way, so yeah, we'll just keep looking around. Oh, huh, weird, there's somebody in here. Oh, huh, this is new. Royal Hidden Passage. Wow, huh, geez, this is kind of stretched off in a direction. Whoa, I didn't think I would go. Nice, a whole diamond, I'll happily take it. But this feels... Like, this would... Yeah, okay, nearby, down below. Okay, this must be where the bubble frog is. Oh, and there's another one of these. Deep behind this land, our mighty first ruler imprisoned the demon king. To ensure the uh, king's magic would hold, we erected a castle here to protect this sacred site. Without the castle in place, the site may be disrupted, allowing the demon king's hatred and rage to be revived. The preservation of this castle is therefore tied to the uh, prosperity of the kingdom. May it watch over an eternal peace. Huh. I guess that's why the Demon King rose the castle, is because it was all symbolic of that. Alright, so we just gotta mine through here. And there should be a bubble frog somewhere. Ah, there we go. Okay, so... Interesting. This cave... So, observation room. Interesting. So I just lifted that trap door and it led all the way down here. So does that mean that's checked? Yeah, okay. And yeah, one... Oh, wait. Oh, these were connected. I was going to say, I noticed this one um, was not checked, and that was really sad because... Oh, I guess it's the, called the same thing, Royal Hidden Passage. Interesting. So this all links together. Crazy. But yeah, if I had to go through that whole area again just to try to find the bubble frog, I would have been very sad. But thankfully, it was all connected. So let me just get these gems, and then we'll move on to the next cave. Oh, okay. Here's another one. Interesting, this one, I think, by this, is a monster den. Oh, Rauru Hillside Cave? Wait, is this actually called Rauru Hillside? Wait, really? Was it called that in Breath of the Wild? Dude, if so, that's crazy. But I don't remember it. Was this a bog? Yeah, that, I'll sink. Okay. Alright, well, yeah, we found this cave, but that's so cool. Actually, it looks like that's, the bog is the right way to go, but I'll take these gems. Um, okay, but, yeah, and also, um, just a note, it's been 20 minutes according to my recording software, and those little, like, markers are still here, which is great, so they must last either a very long time or they only disappear after, like, a loading zone, which, yeah, I have not teleported yet, I've just been flying around in fear that they might disappear. Uh, so, but yeah, they last quite a while, so this is great. Oh, and there's the bubble gem, okay, great, for the bubble frog containing the gem. So that's that cave done already. And yeah, I've noticed around this area anyway, I've actually done like a ton of caves. Um, I don't think the Elden area counts for this um, cherry blossom, but yeah, I mean, I've been around a lot. All the markers I've been flying past have the check marks, so I mean, that's a pretty good thing. But um, 
you know, it may warrant going to multiple cherry trees in multiple videos, so we'll see. But yeah, let's deal with these guys, I guess. Wow, that was really easy. This boomerang is so fun to use. Because if you don't know, boomerangs, I believe, do double damage upon throwing, like everything else. However, they don't break, obviously, because they're meant to be thrown. Um, and then if you, like, throw it into them and then make it so that it curves back, you can hit them, like, two to three times with one throw. So it's really awesome, and it makes defeating these guys really fast and easy. Um, so yeah, whenever there's a bunch of horribles, there's usually a chest. And yeah, it's always some weird weapon. Actually, that's quite strong. Um, let's drop this thing. There we go, nice. Oh, there's actually a fairy fountain? Great, well, I'll happily take them. I mean, sorry, it's not a fairy fountain, but it's just a room with water with fairies. So yeah, I've seen that there's a lot of these around in the game, which honestly, I think is a great change from Breath of the Wild, because in that game, like, getting fairies was so easy. You just go to a great fairy fountain, and then you just, like, grab all four fairies that are there. Um, and then you have four extra lives. But in this game, you have to go to specific areas that are typically hidden or hard to get to, to find fairies. So it's a very nice change. So that was the one we just got to. Um, so yeah, let's just do a survey. This is sort of a high up area. That was the cave that... Uh, we found Colton and Kilton, so there's no point in going there. So there's one in this direction. I guess if I do a marker, that'll help me just navigate. Okay, so I have definitely haven't gone there. And then there are, like, three in this direction. So... Okay, there's that one. Oh, interesting, the Dueling Peaks one. I did the one on the lower one, but not on the higher one. Okay, so I'll have to go back there. But, man, yeah, like, the rest, though, I'm pretty sure I've done. But I wish, yeah, I wish there was an easier way to tell with, like, these markers. I wish that the indication would not spawn if you got the bubble gem in that cave. Oh, yeah, okay, so there's still a bubble gem in the Colosseum. Weird. I guess when I found that armor piece, I didn't notice that I didn't, or there was a bubble gem. Okay, so that looks like there's only maybe three in this area. The the blue marker, this one, which I don't even know if this is technically the same area. Uh, the Colosseum, and then, yeah, that's it. Okay, so yeah, let's just uh, start heading that direction. Alright, here we are at that cave. So, Fennel Peak Cave. Okay, yeah, so all the caves typically are just labeled based on the area they are. Um, so of course, Horblins are here. They're pretty much the natives of caves. Oh, and there he is. Alright, great. Okay, I think this cave was probably just a massive loop, judging by the, um, debris. So yeah, if you just blow up one of the walls, it'll all lead to the Bubble Frog. Interesting. So yeah, they were definitely, uh, when they designed these caves, they had the Bubble Frogs in mind. I mean, I guess technically, besides just gems and treasure, uh, they're the main reason to cave. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like there's actually one more cave that I didn't notice. I just was looking around from the sky, and I noticed one another one of these markers, but there is no cave indication, so I must have missed it. Okay, great. Because, yeah, I mean, I don't want to miss areas... Because, yeah, the cherry blossoms, like I said, they're not incredibly accurate. They just say, like, you know, there is one. Um, but if you've gotten it or not, it's up to your map. So is it another den, or did I already just do this one? Oh, no, this is a discovery. Yep, okay. All right, well, yeah, it's just another Horblin cave. All right, that's done with. So, yeah, I mean, there is the monster chest, but I want the bubble frog, of course. But this one doesn't, this cave anyway, doesn't seem very large, so it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, nearby up above. Okay, so there is, I did see that. So maybe it's up there. Can I ascend? Oh wait, it's right there. If I just shoot it, it should fall. Yes, perfect. Nice. All right. Great. That was a very easy cave. Yeah, I figured this would be a good like, area to start with, because it's, like, literally central Hyrule, and it's pretty much where you start. 
Um, so, you know, then there's the other trees. All eight areas, I guess, they've divided it into. Um, and yeah, we'll do our best. Uh, obviously, like, other areas like Elden is gonna be precarious because we need the uh, special armor to survive the lava. And also just, um, there'll probably be lava obstacles and whatnot in them, but it'll make the caves more interesting. So yeah, let's just see what's in here. It's most likely a weird spear fusion. It seems to be common with these guys. Oh no, it's more bomb flowers, which I will happily take, actually. Um, alright, so then, yeah, let me leave again, and then see, uh, if there are any more caves besides the one in Dueling Peaks and the Colosseum. Hmm, there's a smoking well, which I have not discovered. And I don't think wells... Oh, interesting. Well, this is like a tiny little side quest. Might as well do it. I don't think wells contain bubble frogs. Uh, oh my gosh, already. I've waited a long time for someone to rescue me. It's my own darn fault I'm here, though. Dropped something down the well and climbed in after it. Oh, it broke. Uh, I even had a ladder, but yeah, it broke when I tried to climb up. Okay. Then on top of that, my best buddy I got everywhere with should have noticed, but uh, he didn't. He kept right on going. Come on, man. Really? Sorry, not your fault. Can't tell you how happy I am that you came down here. But what now? The ladder's wrecked. I mean, the broken part is still there, so we can technically fix it if the dang ladder weren't too high to reach. Alright, fell into a well. That's simple enough. We just... yeah, I assumed we could. Oh, interesting. Weird, I've never used a ladder before. Or, um, like, picked it up, so... Like that? That should be good enough. It's just you and me now, stuck down at the bottom of a well. Not the worst place to call home, I guess. That should work. Oh wait, it's fixed? Did you do that? You're incredible. Now let's get out of here already. Hmm. Alright, man, you saved me. I thought I'd be stuck in that well for the rest of my life. Seriously. I really owe you. Here, take this. Oh, cool. 50 rupees. I'm going to catch up to my buddy Jora and head to Foothill Stable so we can apply for the Zonai survey team. See you around. Thanks again. And hey, don't go falling into any wells, alright? Alright, so that... Maybe could escalate if we went there, so, but that was a simple enough quest. Oh yeah, and also, um, if you see these guys, the bloopies, uh, if you, like, scare them and follow them, they pretty much, like, always lead to a, a cave nearby. It's not necessarily a great way to try and find caves, but, I mean, it is a way. So, yeah, looks like that's all that was in here, so yeah, let's just leave. Oh. Huh, okay, it looks like my indicators went away. Now, I don't know if it was on a timer or if it was just coincidental with the fact that I had a loading zone because of the side quest. I'm gonna assume... I mean, it's been... According to my recording, it's been 36 minutes. And... I guess maybe 6 minutes had elapsed be before. No, no, I, I did it, like, right when I started recording, so... Maybe... It's 30-something minutes, or um, it could just be because of the side quest. I'm going to assume it's the side quest, but... Okay, it's good to know, then. If you do any sort of loading, um, the indicators will go away, so... Alright, well, I guess since they already have, I might as well just teleport, because... Um, I'm already, you know, I already lost them. Alright, so here's the cave we had to enter for these... Uh, this puzzle at Death Mountain, or sorry, Dueling Peaks. Um, did you just throw meat at me? What the heck? All right, well, I'll happily take it. Um, I didn't know that they could do that. That's hilarious. But I guess, yeah, when I entered here, because it was so short, I didn't pay attention for the bubble frog. Which, yeah, this is such a small cave. Where could it even be? Or wait, my indicator. Oh, no, no, it is activated. But where can I go for the bubble frog? This is so weird. Oh, yeah, okay, there actually is. It just leads up here. Oh, and he's right there. Jeez, all right, that was very simple. Well, I guess that explains why I didn't see it the first time, is because uh, I was focused on the puzzle and didn't uh, veer off the path. All right, so that's the second to last that I want to get. So then we'll just go back to the Colosseum uh, and get that one. And I'll just... Pay attention to any ones. I guess there's one here. Um, so yeah, I can River of the Dead Waterfall Cave. Weird. 
There's actually a ton of caves that I've like walked past and not gotten. I suppose that's simple enough too. If I just find caves on my map I haven't gone gotten the uh, bubble gem from, that'll save me time from like scouring the land with the uh, cherry blossom indicator. So yeah, I'll get this one and then yeah, I might as well get this one too. This is actually really close and I know exactly where the cave is. So then yeah, we'll get two more bubble gems and then we'll go back to Colton. Oh, dude, what the heck? I How did I not... Oh my goodness. When I play this game off camera, I guess I just do not pay attention. But I... Because I literally just teleported here and it was right in front of me. Weird. All right. Well, that saved me time. Okay, so now... uh, I guess I'll just teleport here. Um, oh, and shoot, yeah, that Gleox gonna be there again, but I might as well defeat it. Um, and then we'll go into that little cave where we found the Trousers of Awakening. I think that's the cave. Uh, and then get the Bubble Frog because I didn't even notice it before and it was such a little cave. I guess they are kind of elusive considering the fact that they stick to the walls. So, alright, yeah, let me just go around. Okay, yeah, funny, my... Bubble gem or bubble frog indicator is going off. So, yeah, I guess it is in this little area. So I'll just uh, sneak right past you, Mr. Gleok. Yeah, there it is. Oh, he saw me. Okay. Hmm, where could this be? Unless, is there something here? Nope, those are just crates. Oh, wait. Oh, there was something behind these crates. What's going on? Is the Gleok, like, walking around? Jeez. Okay, so the, yeah, there was a tiny little crawl hole behind those crates. Dude, that's crazy. And then, yeah, there's the bubble gem in just another part of the cave. Alright, um, or bubble frog, sorry. I keep swapping their names, but, I mean, it's all pretty much one and the same. The gem is what I'm looking for. Whoa, that was weird. Um, but the frog is the creature that I'm hunting, so... Alright, so, yeah. That'll do. Um, so yeah, let me just kill this Gleok for the fun of it. And then... Uh, return to Lookout Landing, switch it to night, and then go to Colton. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. That actually was high enough to kill him. Crazy. Alright, well, that was simple enough. Um, yeah, man, Fierce Deity armor is, like, the bro most broken set. Well, speaking of which, I actually w managed to uh, upgrade it to the max. So it's, it gives me 20 defense, or I'm sorry, per piece, so a total of 60. So, I mean, yeah, that is, like, really good. Um, not to mention the boost it gives. And also, just simply the fact that it's the Fierce Deity armor. I love it. Um, man, because, like, the only other armor, I believe, that gives attack up is the Barbarian armor. And I don't know. It just it doesn't look good. I don't like the way Link looks in it. So, uh, I prefer this. And it gives the same amount of defense and uh, buff. So, I much prefer this. And upgrading it, oh, gosh, it's almost, like, arguably easier to upgrade this set... Uh, over the um, Barbarian set because the Barbarian set requires multiple Lionel uh, horns and parts whereas the Fierce Deity was literally just like um, you needed Hinox parts for the first three and then oh that's not the right time dang it um, and then various dragon parts first it's a scale of each of the three dragons, excluding the light dragon. Then it's a claw, a fang, and then a horn. So, I mean, if you just keep cycling them and get every piece, it doesn't take a lot, and the amount of monster parts from other monsters is not that much. So, uh, it was really simple to do. Honestly, the hardest part was getting rupees, but you just sell gems and frozen meat, uh, you can do that, so... Okay, so it is now night, and Colton, I believe, is not that far. He should be this way, and you should be able to see his little balloon somewhere. 
Oh, yeah, he's right there. That's crazy. He's very close. So this is probably the easiest place to find him. I assume, like Kilton in Breath of the Wild, he would spawn near civilizations, like the other villages, and thankfully Lookout Landing, which is pretty much my favorite area in the game, because everything is just pretty much there. Um, so yeah, that makes it very simple. Oh, well, would you look at that? He's actually offering the pants of the Mystic set. So yeah, if you don't know, if you go to this guy, um, he will have what he wants to trade you on the left. And I don't know, I mean, it changes often. It's usually just monster parts, but I guess after enough time, uh, it will be a piece of this Mystic set. But I don't know if it's different every night. If it's like not what you want and you can cycle it without trading simply by like passing time, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's do this then. Good evening, Traveler. It's a fine night. Yes, very fine. What? What is that I sense? Traveler, could it be that you have gobs of bubble gems in your possession? If you have bubble gems, I'll trade them for treasure. Uh, let's trade. Hmm, let's see. If you give me four bubble gems, I'll give you one item of value. Oh, yes, yes. I'll give you the mystic trousers. Sounds fair. So yeah, right now it's pretty low per one because I haven't done a ton of trades with them. So I'm overjoyed. Yes, I am. I knew you'd come through, Traveler. I'm dally no more, or I'll dally no more. Here I go. Yeah. So down the hatch. Gulp. Aho, uh -oh, what is this strange feeling running upwards and downwise my body? Uh, it's still not enough. Not enough bubble gems. Uh, I'm sorry. Now that I am myself once more, please, here's the treasure I promised you. Right, so rupee padding. Trousers uh, acquired in exchange for bubble gems. Each thread is blessed by spirits protecting the wearer by allowing them to lose rupees instead of health when hit, which I really don't find that appealing. Right, so when the time... Uh, so after a trade, yeah, he'll change it to a different item, which in this case is a Lionel Horn. So, of course, if you happen to have any more remaining uh, bubble gems, I'll happily trade them for treasure. So, yeah, let's trade. So, still four. Then we can get this Lionel thing, but that's not really what I care about. It's simply just getting uh, the next piece of the set. So... Oh, it's a white main. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, if we keep doing this... Oh, that's right, and of course the monster um, mask. So there's a horrible in one too? Wow, that's new. So let's trade. So I still have 20. Let's see if you give me four. Okay. And yeah, I had a bunch, obviously, from um, just playing. But we got a several more of this video from the caves, so and we'll be doing more of that in the future. Now, what is this strange feeling? It's not enough. Um, so yeah, here's this horrible in mask. Kilton's handmade... Oh, it's Kilton's. Okay. Handmade Horblin headgear. The big nose and smiley mouth look just like those of the real monster. Equip it to blend in with Horblins. I wonder what Link's stance will be with this. So... Oh, are those Gleok wings? Okay. Um, I'll give you two Gleok wings for four gems. Okay. Well, if he keeps doing four, we can, like, perfectly trade them all. So, yeah, let's... I mean, do as many as we can. He may up the price, unfortunately, because that's just thing, how things go. Yeah, two Gleak wings, useful for upgrades, of course. Oh, the Lionel mask! Oh, no way, okay. Yeah, let's get these. I want the ar armors, of course. So, yeah, let's um, do this. So, what do we have? The, the Coblin, Horblin, and now Lionel. And I think I also had the Lizalfos, so that's like uh, several at least. So, I guess there's still the Moblin one. So, let's see what else. Oh, wow, so this will be... Gliak Thunderhorns. Three of them? Dang. Just for four? I mean, th that's honestly a good deal. These things are cr incredibly powerful and hard to come by. Alright, so that's some more. So the dialogue's all the same so far, so I'm just kind of skimming through it. Um, oh, no way! We actually get the whole set in this video? No way! Alright, oh, well, actually, I shouldn't speak too soon. Let's see if you give me five. No! Oh, man. I don't have enough. Let me think about it. Hmm, no, I'm tempted to just get one more. Now, nah, I want the whole set now. Let's see, there is bound to be a cave I've marked. Yeah, there's there's a couple here. In fact, I remember they're like really small. So let me just go get one more gem. I'm not ending the video on like an annoying cliffhanger like that. Oh, right, this cave was for uh, that Yiga quest. Okay, yeah, that's why I marked it, I just never uh, explored it because I just wanted the, um, thing. So, okay. So if we just keep fighting the current, uh, we will eventually find the bubble frog. 
Ah, okay, there's a little stretch um, past here, and then there he is. Ah, uh, dang it, stop jumping on the walls. Alright, there we go. So this is our last bubble gem for real of the video. And that way we can get the whole set um, of the uh, Mystic set. Wow, I can't believe it. I was one short, but at least one is not a lot. Alright, so yeah, let's make our way back to Kilton. Alright, here we go. And yes, okay, so the piece is still there, thankfully. So, alright, um, so five gems, let's trade, if you give me five, yep, okay, here we go, thank goodness. I can't believe that, yeah, I wasn't gonna be like, well, next time, no, I'm doing it now. Alright, let's go. So yeah, you swallow that, I guess. Gulp. Oh, what is a strange feeling, running upwards and down lies my body. Still not enough. Well, someday I'll get you the rest. So interesting, I guess it really doesn't require a lot to unlock the whole set. So had were acquired in exchange for bubble gems, made with prayers to spirits, it protects the wearer, allowing them to lose rupees instead of health when hit. So I assume then with the whole set, you won't lose any health at all. I've eaten all those bubble gems and I still haven't turned into a Satori. Uh, what if I need to eat all of the bubble gems? Traveler, I promise, this is the last thing I'll ask of you. Would you, prettiest please, collect all of the remaining bubble gems? Interesting, okay. No, it's not right. I don't have a single treasure left to trade. I couldn't. I shouldn't ask such a favor of you. Really? Oh, so we actually have gotten everything. Hmm, though you know, perhaps it's because of all the bubble gems I've gobbled up, but I can at least sense the presence of each and every bubble gem across the vastness of Hyrule. I admit, of course, I still don't know exactly where they are still. Oh, wow, I can sense 101. Really, that's not that many more, I thought. There would be many more. Um, bubble frogs out there. I must collect every one. Sense any bubble frogs. I will focus my senses and try searching for bubble gems. Or frogs. Hmm. Yes, yes, northeast or northwest of here, I sense a bubble frog uh, gambles near the northern Passeri green belt. Wow. That's all I can say about that. Interesting. Wow. So I actually technically have done everything except get the last one. So never mind. There won't be videos of me just getting other gems because that's just boring. I'll just do another video when I get the last of them and give it to them. Interesting. So yeah, I guess let's put this on. And so let's look at our mask collection. So let's see. So Bacoblin, Horblin, Moblin. Oh, I did have the Moblin one. Lazalfos and then Lionel. And then I guess the Majora's Mask if you want to be technical. So yeah, then there's only one other one. It's this one. So let's just... I want to see all the stances. So yeah, that's normal. Um, this was the new one. Oh, dude, that one's kind of cool. Oh man, that's a really cool stance. Funny enough, I never see them do that stance because they're always on the ceiling. So let's do the Moblin. Yeah, that's pretty typical. Um, Lazalfos. <laughs> yeah, the Lazalfos one is hilarious. It's funny that Link can do all these ones. Oh yeah, and then the um, Lionel is really funny. He just stands straight. Because that's what they do. Still, I don't know how this fools Lionel's because Link does not have a horse body, but whatever. Um, alright, so then let's also put the Satori armor on. Uh, the Mystic set, I mean. Alright, Rupee padding. So then, yeah, I assume with the whole set, we will not take damage at all. Dang, that hair. Yeah, okay, yeah, I have seen some people dye this set, like, red. So the hair is red, like Ganon's, and it looks epic. Interesting, but right now, it kind of glows, so let me see if I can... Oh, here's a bee. I was just gonna say, if I can find some way to take damage, and we can see me lose rupees. Oh, here's some... so... Ten? And just from bees? Dude, that's insane. But, oh wait, guys, don't get rid of the bees. So, I don't think I took any damage. Let me just heal. So, hit me. Guys, no. Ah, dang it. They got rid of them all. Hold on, let me find some other monster. Oh my gosh, that drained, like, almost all my rupees, and I still took damage. So I guess, although, I guess it was the fire damage. And yeah, that just drained all my rupees. Oh, and that just killed me, yeah, because there's no defense. Wow. Alright, well, I'm loading that save. Forget that, I want my rupees. Alright, but that's how that works, then. So, this is such a weird armor set, and I do not like it at all, except for its look. It does look really cool. But alright then, 
Well, funny enough, I did not plan to get the whole set this video, and I literally did it by the skin of my teeth, which is cool. So, yeah, so forget what I said about doing other videos uh, looking for bubble gems, because that's not really important. Uh, the only thing that's important is uh, was getting this set, which I thought was going to take a lot longer. Um, but of course, also getting the rest and seeing what happens. So alright then, well thank you all so much for watching this episode on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and do subscribe uh, to continue watching me play this amazing game. And also please feel free to leave comments uh, suggesting me to do certain things, just try to be spoiler free about it. So alright then, I'll uh, see you in another video.